Right. So one thing we never talk about on the vlog is the vlog. Is the vlog. We do have a relatively clear vision of what we're trying to do. We're trying to open ourselves up mm -hmm. as an agency and show people what we do. And we're in that kind of that point now where we're thinking about what, what we can do better. We've got loads of episodes of content now that we've shot that we think is good, some that we think is not so good, mm -hmm. working out why we think those things. And lots of it is gut feeling at the moment. You know, we've we've got this hybrid of the two different types of content we want to put out, which is insight behind the curtain of an agency and then the this is what it's like working at our agency yeah it's it's really hard and certainly added an, an extra element to our jobs we've also got a very niche though. offering you know what i mean we're not trying to get everybody to watch this we're trying to get a certain very small percentage of people doing the right thing for a living to watch this for example we send it to linkedin and that goes to pretty much our target audience but we're also putting it on facebook and, and youtube and then you've got completely different people watching it. Zerkers in the thumbnail on YouTube, we might get a load of Sidemen fans who might be 14, 15, they might be 21 working marketing partners too. In which case, what can we give them? You know, I'm a big believer in you've got to go niche content to niche audiences. So that means we've got to go onto LinkedIn, but then that limits us because there aren't pre-built audiences on LinkedIn already. Mm. It's a platform that hasn't developed. If we launch this in two years time it would be so much easier to grow it. it to be honest it would be really interesting for us to learn more about actually who is watching these vlogs it, you know obviously depends on what platform you're watching this on it could be facebook it could be linkedin it could be youtube it could be even snippets on instagram but what is it that you do for a job are you a student are you a marketeer in a brand or are you working at an agency like there's so many different roles that could potentially get value from this and it'd be really interesting to hear how we can potentially create more value for you or people like yourselves so it'd be great if you could leave a comment below as to what job you're in and how we can possibly you know provide more insight that'd be awesome i've got a lovely invite from the green award harry is not no, Furious. What are the Green Awards? It's something that Charlie's been working on quite a lot in our team with Nick Osberg. Um, it's in Berlin on the week of the Berlin e -Pri, and it's to celebrate all the amazing sort of green technology that's going on around the world. Charlie's done a lot of great work on it. Yeah, it looks very cool. So I'll be in Berlin on the 24th of May. If anyone's around, wants to meet up that weekend, I'll be there for Is it weekend? the Green Tech Festival and for Formula E Berlin. I've sort of forgotten about it the last couple of weeks, and now it's sort of oh, coming back I've into play. Not been able to stop thinking about it over the weekend. Who's who's the best guest that could be there? As in, I guess I think will be there. No, best no. guest I could. Who, who would be the number one person you want to meet in the sporting world? Yeah. Probably like your Thierry. Nah, Arsene Wenger for me. Really, I met Arsene Wenger. But that should be good. There'll be a lot of people there, and you never know. You never know. Are we going to vlog that? Yeah. Are you going to take you behind the scenes? Yep. Who's taking the camera? Probably me. Tell the vlog. Great work, son. Great work. Mr. Frankie, yes. what was that? Big tech company. It's a foot in the door. We can get in and really just show them how, we can show them what value we can drive. And once we're in, we just scale up. Yeah, you know, exactly. We've seen it with some other big brands. We just need a little chance to prove what we can do. And then they, they won't stop spending. It's quite an interesting one. It's a company that's realized that the age of hiring a photographer, a model, somebody to distribute content, somebody to repurpose content. It's just, it's all getting merged into one where we've got creators that are on platforms that they can do it all themselves. So yeah, interesting one. And as Frank said, can can open the doors to a lot more opportunities. Thanks Jason, bro. Thank you. Tuesday means... Dodgeball. We do lose every week, far too ever, but... Which is good, because you win here so hard. You need to be humble. I mean, obviously you've made all your team players watch the dodgeball movie so they have no excuse they have no excuse giving them tactics and everything but we're just we're just not very good <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Not that you need it. No, of course not. Have you seen the Instagram <laughs> likes share? As they've been test proving the number of likes people receive could affect mental health. Social media companies have been testing into Facebook with the number of followers and the number of likes for user is hidden. Well, so, I definitely think that the number of likes affects people's mental health. There's no question. Yeah. The user who posts the image will, would still be able to see how many likes the post receives. Other users would not be able to see the exact count. 
Well, it's good luck to you, Instagram. Look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Instagram has some wins and losses over there. You know, stories, massive win for them. IGTV, massive loss. But the only way it will really work is if they somehow are able to subjectively push the best things forward. Then they've got to have a ridiculous, ridiculous but their whole editorial model, team. Their whole model is that the community will tell us what's good by interacting with it. Which they're not getting rid of. It's weird, it doesn't really seem, that this whole change doesn't, having read more about it now and previously, doesn't seem to fix any of the problems it's going into no. fix or professing to fix. Um, yeah. This feels like an IGTV-esque um, innovation. I understand the problem they're trying to solve, but I don't think they're gonna solve that problem. People love it so much for that single function. Photo, social yeah. credibility. It's just the currency they trade in and they're gonna struggle if this is the case. If anyone does have the beta, please uh, yeah, so screenshot us. It. We'd love to see it. Um, if you've got any thoughts on whether or not you think it's a good thing from Instagram, whether or not it, it'll actually help people's mental health um, or not, you've obviously heard our opinion, but we'd love to hear yours. Comment below. Thanks for watching the vlog. As Harry said earlier, let us know, is the vlog speaking to you? What parts of the vlog do you find of value? What do you want to see less of? We rely on your feedback, so please let us know below. While you're there, let us know what you think of the proposed changes to Instagram. Is it something that's going to take off? Is it going to affect anyone's mental health? Are they focusing on the wrong thing? And as always, like and subscribe.